up he goes, up he goes. Clickety clack is a brave little wooden man to be climbing up that silver thread to the suspended tower, isn't he? I should say yes, President Pip. Clickety clack is always very brave when uh, there is something to be done in the way of an adventure. Don't you think so, President Pip? Well, I should say, gold knight, sir knight, you know, clickety clack has been a great comfort to me. I would think so, President Pip. You know, I believe you're going to get one of the greatest surprises you have ever had in all of your life. Yes. Well, you know, the suspended tower uh, must be a very wonderful thing, although I'm prepared for almost anything. You know, Sir Knight, this air castle has so many towers and so many wonderful things that uh, I can hardly be surprised in anything. But the uh, Gold Knight has told us, President Pip, that this is the most unusual of all of the things in the air castle. It is indeed. Ah, I see now that the little wooden man has reached the top. Soon he shall be lowering the basket, and then we will all be able to ascend, and you will see for the very first time in your lives the suspended tower, sometimes referred to as the sea tower. Ah, huh, why do they call it the sea tower? That is... Not quite so very easy to explain to you. I would much rather have you see it. Well, I guess perhaps you... Seeing is believing, especially when you see the sea tower. Goodness me, it's just like when I first saw the sea. I said, oh, if I ever see the sea, I don't know, I'll, I'll know what, I, what I'm seeing. Goodness me. Oh, President Pip, you're a strange little gentleman, aren't you? Yes, I guess so. How does my beard look today? Why, President Pip, you have managed to keep that beard in very, very good condition. How often do you curl your beard? Well, I sometimes curl it every day. Every day twice and some days once. Goodness me. Well, well, well. Here comes the basket. The little wooden man certainly has been able to follow instructions in a very, very good way. You must have him pretty well trained. Yeah, I should think so. He knows how to mind, and that's why we all get along so well. So does Ben the Murphy. <laughs> I should think so. Now, look out for your head, sorry man. Here comes the basket. Oh, huh? what a bargeman. Hey, now we all get in the basket, I guess. Very well, you get in first, President Pip and Story Man and the Bugler Murphy, and I will follow. Hmm, who has to pull this basket up? Well, perhaps it would be better for all three of us to pull on the other rope. It wouldn't exactly be fair to have anyone else pull me up because I am wearing all of this heavy armor. ha, ha, ha. Yes, almost not funny, goodness me. Must be about, uh, about two or three hundred pounds of armor there on you that you have to carry on. Oh, yes, but I get used to it. Now I guess we're all safely in the basket. Be very careful and not lean out too far, little wooden man. Oh, you don't mean to tell me you're afraid. Oh, no, he's not afraid. He'll sit right here by me. Oh, Bugle Murphy is never really very badly afraid when we're all going together, you know. Uh, he's been to the jungle with us and every place. He's been to the North Pole and all different places. Well, here we go. All ready to pull? All ready. I'll give the signal to start. Very well. One, two, three. Oh! 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 Up we go! Up we go! Goodness me! Say so, Mugler Murphy is delighted. Oh, look below. The rose garden is about 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, 60 feet, 70 feet, 80 feet, 90 feet, 100 feet below. And we're still not even near the suspended tower. How does the suspended tower stay so suspended? That is one of the mysteries of the land of make-believe. Uh, you didn't know the air castle had this tower, did you? Well, on second thought, now when approaching the air castle from distant points, I remember of seeing one very tall tower with a pointed roof and a star on the top of it, and I always wondered what it was. And it seemed to me that it must be the tower room where we always are in the topmost tower, but goodness me, goodness me. Come to find out, there's a, a tower that's higher than that. Well, 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 well. Here we are. Swing the basket over to the right there, and we'll be able to get out of it. That's it. Oh, be very careful. You nearly let the basket drop. Oh, that would never do. How could we get down again? 
Well, I could bring it down again. That would be another problem. Oh, Spaghetti Clock, shake hands, Spaghetti Clock. You're a very brave little wooden man. Goodness me, only one foot high, and he can do wonderful things. Well, those two little wooden men are certainly good friends. Well, here we are in the, in the first room of the suspended tower, right at the very bottom of it. What the, what are those things there? Oh, you mean those little caps hanging on the peg? Yeah, the little caps hanging on the peg. Those little red and green caps are to be worn by everyone who works in the suspended tower. Works? Yes, I said works. Lots of work goes on here. Well, what do you think of that? Good morning. <laughs> oh, certainly, certainly. You know, I'm uh, kind of curious to know what kind of work this is going to be. Are you going uh, to be supposed to work? Well, if you like, I think it would be very nice. But whether you work or not, you will have to wear these little caps before you enter. All right, I'll take this little red one. Here's one for you, Big Murphy. Oh, I didn't think he wanted it. He wants the green one, being Irish. Good enough. All right. I'm going to crack a wild little red one and throw him in. What will you take? I think I'll have one of these little red caps, too. Well, I'll take a green one, and then we'll have three red ones and two green ones. Here we go. Now, right through the door. Goodness me, it's a long corridor. What's that? What is that, Sir Knight? That is the bell of the sea tower. Never heard that before, I guess. No. Doesn't belong to the rest of the air castle? That belongs to the sea tower. Very few people have heard it. That is, comparatively. Hmm. In other words, there are quite a few people up here. Follow me and I will show you. You better not be making too much noise, you see, until we find out where we are. Oh, through this door? Right through this door. Follow me. Oh, just look. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, all kinds of little people working there. Yes. They're very busy, aren't they? What are those little pipes in the wall? Those are telescopes. Telescopes? Oh, President Pip, isn't it very unusual? What can they be doing? Tell us what they're doing, sir. Now tell us what they're doing. I can hardly wait until you tell us. Well, I'll tell you what they're doing. They're looking through the telescope to see all of the good children, all the good girls and boys. And they're busy at those little desks by each telescope, making a list. What do they make the list for? They send a copy of these names to the Star King and another copy to Santa Claus. Uh-huh. <laughs> Biggity Clack and Bigler Murphy are very, very excited about this. You know, we've always wondered how Santa Claus could get the names of all of the children who have been good. Because, you know, he's only one person, and we just wondered how he could get around and keep track of everyone. Well, now you see. He has quite an organization. Very, very busy indeed. All, all just working as hard as they can work to see that all of the children get recognition. See names galore are being written down and sent out there. See those little fellows with wings? Oh, yes. Over by that little door there. What do I do? They fly to the Star King with the list of names and also one to Santa Claus. The little one with the fur coat flies to Santa Claus. He flies up to Santa Claus. And the other one in the little silver suit goes to the starking. Well, 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 well. Well, this is very interesting. Now, if you would care to go, perhaps you may exit this way. All right. Goodness me, Story Man. That was the most interesting thing I ever saw. You know, I think that was just wonderful. You know, Story Man, I saw some of my friends when I looked through the telescope. You did, President Pip? Who did you see? Oh, I saw little Freeman Lang, and I saw little Everett Barnes, and there they were, working away and being good little boys. Goodness me. And I saw little May Brackman, and I saw ever so many. I saw little Frank Soule, oh my, all kinds of them. 
Oh, it is good to see your friends. I don't suppose they could see us, though. No, you see, it is through the telescope, a very powerful one, and they have no idea you are looking at them. Ah, well, what do you think of that? We'll have to come up to the sea tower as often as possible and keep track of all our little friends, won't we? I think that's a very good idea, President Pip. Now you may get into the basket and lower yourselves again. Ah, all right. Come on, Brigadier Clark. Well, sir, night, it'll be easier going back. <laughs> I guess I go, Mr. Murphy says. All right, then, you may lower now. Here we go. Come on, Brigadier Clark. Down we go, down we go, down we go. Oh, goodness me, this suspended tower is certainly quite a sight to be home. Goodness me. Here we are. Everybody up. Ah, what do we do with the basket? Well, you may just leave it there. One of the little attendants will pull it back up as soon as he sees that it is not in use. Oh, well, that's very nice of him. All right, then, let's be going into, up to the tower room again. Certainly seems strange to be walking along with a man who is carrying so much armor as you are. Oh, I've become quite used to it. I must go back into my chant enchantment again, President Pip. Oh, all right. Well, we'll be glad when you come back out of it again, because you always show us such wonderful things. The magic bells are ringing for all the good little girls and boys everywhere because they are so good. And for the little girls and boys who may have been naughty because they are not going to be naughty anymore. Well, Story Man, how does it seem to be back in the tower room? Seems very good indeed, President Pip. Oh, here's the piano. Sing, sing us a little song. Sing a song about, um... Well, sing a song about, uh, Slumberland, why don't you? Lumberland, all to you. See the stars peeking through. Little Dolly's glad to be in bed, and man calls to every tower head. Please, close your eyes, save away, come back home at break of day. Hear the pretty dream bells tinkle, take a trip with Rip and Winkle, hand in hand. To slumber land. Why, President Pip has gone asleep. My, he must have been very tired. And the gold knight has returned to his enchantment. Tickety Clack and Bugler Murphy are sort of drowsy and seem to be going to sleep too. So I'll have to tiptoe out of here now so as not to wake anyone. Goodbye, children. Be good, and you'll be happy.